Before we really get into this, I want to say thank you to everyone on Discord that has been joining in, in the conversation, and I want to say thank you to the patrons that actually support and gain access to the rest of the Discord. Specifically, I really need to say thank you to Abel, Peter, and Kyle. You guys really, the support has been great. I'm happy to have you. You guys are new onto the Patreon. I'm hopeful that this is something that you find benefit from and that you are enjoying the conversations we're having. Thank you. I was just about to sit down and record a video talking about Peng Yang, who I've been informed that the name Fang was the improper pronunciation of it, but Peng Yang, the man from Tulare County who was issued a felony... <laughs> he, was issued, he was booked on felony charges for possession of one 15-round magazine. Even though he claims he acquired them during Freedom Week, I was informed that... After going through the process of vetting that the GoFundMe link that I was sent, because there were two, and I had to go through and figure out which one was the right one, turns out the one that was sent to me after was created by the family. This whole process of figuring out that it was legit before I go and share it with you guys so that you donate money to the right place, well, it turns out that while I was looking that up, people were pinging me in the Discord and telling me, hey, the guy's charges were dropped. The district attorney of Tulare County went out of his way to file a letter basically saying, let me just read it for you. So while I was going through the process of vetting that information, the Discord was pinging me. People in my Discord channel, which I will leave a link to down below, were pinging me saying, hey, this guy, he got let off. So let me read you the letter that was from Eric Scheister, from Daniel Underwood, the chief district attorney in Tulare County. He said, Dear Sir, please let this letter serve to inform you that the Office of the District Attorney will not be filing a criminal information in the People v. Peng Yang in Tulare County Superior Court. After the preliminary hearing, there is a case review either by myself as Chief Deputy or one of the Assistant District Attorneys. Upon being made aware of this case after the preliminary hearing, I do recognize that the Honorable Judge Roger T. Benitez order, I'm just going to skip that part, in joining enforcement of California Penal Code Section 32310 and his decision a week later to further to bar further sales of high capacity capacity magazines until the state ninth circuit of court of appeals considers one to allow freedom week uh, scenarios referred to as freedom week freedom week generally refers to a week in time between his two orders when questioned mr yang responded that he purchased his magazines during freedom week in a private transaction between unknown individuals mr yang stated he did not have any proof of purchase text messages calls social media or contact information from anyone from whom he claimed to have purchased the magazines. After reviewing the evidence in this case and discussing it with the district attorney, the office of the district attorney has elected not to file an information, any information, an information against Mr. Yang in this case at this time. So let's talk about this case. What does this mean? What does this not mean? We need to understand that this does not set precedent this did not go to court and the judge did not rule on saying Freedom Week is an adequate defense. So while saying that you got the magazines during Freedom Week can be used and most likely will be used in your defense if you got caught with these magazines, there is still no precedence. And I think that's one thing that I want to separate that I think many people are getting ahead of themselves with. They're looking at this as if saying Freedom Week is a guaranteed win in those court cases. It might not be. If you get caught breaking the law, you can get boned by the DOJ and by the state. Keep that in mind. But it does show us that this guy was able to get off. Luckily, I did not put any money towards the GoFundMe. In the event that they didn't need it, they would most likely refund it. But it's kind of funny how because I was uh, not checking the Discord often enough, they went ahead and sent me that information. I was able to look it up. Luckily, I did not make the video about the GoFundMe, but it is what it is. Pang Yang got off. Wow. I just said Peng Yang got off, or should I say, which would be more inappropriate, that or say, we got Peng Yang off. Is that better? All right, cool. Today's wacky mic holder is a Sony 70-200 to f4 lens. I used this for a wedding recently, and I absolutely loved it. But you guys know the drill. As always, have fun, be safe, stay dangerous. Peace.